whole house humidifiers come in different types. You have steam humidifiers, bypass humidifiers, self-contained humidifiers, and a powered fan humidifier. Steam humidifiers have uh, electric heating elements that heat up the water, turn it into steam. A bypass humidifier, as you see in the picture, has a bypass duct that goes from the supply and return plenums. And there's a damper you open when you want to have uh, humid air introduced into the building. And it can be closed when you don't want humid air introduced into the building. A self-contained humidifier is just that. It's a self-contained unit. Uh, a powered fan unit is what we will be talking about today, uh, specifically manufactured by Honeywell. And as the name implies, there is a powered electric fan that blows air across a, uh, a wet pad, and then that, that, that moisture is introduced into the building air. So this is what the humidifier looks like that we will be installing today. Comes with owner's manual, DVD, clips, screws, drain tubing, electrical wiring, humidistat, water tubing, shutoff valve for water supply, air tubing for your pressure switch there and connectors. Tells you how to wire your pressure switch. So using the supplied template that they provide in the installation kit with a Sharpie I traced out the square on the supply plenum above the coil and then cut it out with a pair of tin snips. You then install the back of the humidifier to the supply plenum with the supplied self-tapping sheet metal screws. Make sure to keep it level then you reinstall the pad. Make sure you install that black rubber hose. Reconnect it to the tube fitting at the top of the pad. That is important. You reinstall the front cover that houses the fan motor and the control board. You then set about to connect up your wiring and your plumbing. This picture shows a close up of the 24 volt AC solenoid valve that the water supply line will connect to. So per the manufacturer's instruction for this particular make and model, you'll see the red square here on note number three that the red wires from the humidifier are not used. Only the yellow wires coming out of the bottom of the humidifier are used. That's very important. And you can see the little wiring schematic here at the top of the screen. So you can see the two yellow wires coming out of the bottom of the humidifier are the ones we used, but not the two red wires. The humidistat and the air pressure switch are single pole, single throw switches. So it doesn't matter which terminal you land your wires on, it'll still function the same way. Here a close up view, you can see the two yellow wires coming out the bottom of the humidifier are wire nutted to my wires going to the humidistat and pressure switch. But you can see the two red wires are cut, nothing's attached to those. And you can also see a close up of the clear plastic drain tube on the left side there. And also the, the quarter inch water tube attaching to that solenoid valve. So on the right hand side we have a picture of the installed humidistat, below it 
the installed pressure switch. Make sure the pressure switch is installed in a vertical orientation as you see here to function properly. And again, it does not matter which terminal you land those wires on, it'll function correctly in either way. This particular make and model, the, the positive uh, tube, you'll see the, where the, the air tube connects at the bottom. The positive one goes to the supply duct. The negative one, or negative pressure, goes to your return duct. On the left-hand side, you see a shark bite shutoff valve. This is for a three-quarter inch by three-quarter inch uh, push to connect fitting to quarter inch compression for that water line. And that's where you can turn the water on and off to your humidifier. I'd recommend buying one of these instead of using that uh, piercing valve that they supply in the kit. Those tend to leak. You're piercing a small hole into your copper pipe. Um, and they're, they're basically clamped onto the pipe and there's rubber like rubber seals or rubber gaskets that, that sandwich the pipe between the clamp and the rubber seals. I don't trust those. I don't recommend them. I'd recommend one of these push to connect uh, shark, bite, shark bite water shutoff valves instead. So again, installation here, that's finished. And ideally, uh, around 50% humidity setting on your humidistat will be comfortable. Anything much above 50%, you'll start to get a bit uncomfortable. May even start to see water condensing on your windows or your walls. You don't want that. You don't want to start growing mold anywhere. Uh, below 50%, the lower you go, um, you'll start to feel dry and uncomfortable. I hope this information helps. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment for future video topics you would like me to cover.